Guys, not a good day. Not a good day at all. Um, I had the day off today, as you all know, I'm a builder and weather hasn't been that good. So, on my day off, I thought, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit of maintenance on my tank. So, I was going to change over my old filter, which was in my 64, because obviously you've seen the video of my new one, um, which is the funnel 205. So today was the day I could take the existing filter out, so the 64 was just running off the 205. Happy days. So the old filter that was in that, I was always planning on putting it straight into the 40 litre. And as I was doing that, I was, you know, you, you're excited and things were looking up on the 64 and I thought that this filter is a, a better filter than what the 40 litre's got. So it was going straight in, puts it in, and then I thought I'd have a quick little uh, TLC on the um, beta tank. And I couldn't help but notice when I was siphoning out the beta tank, in the 40 litre, my green neon tetras I've got had neon disease. And I was just thinking to myself, oh my god, what, how's that happened? And it suddenly came to me, I clicked. I thought, not long ago, I'd done something, not silly, not silly at all, but I should have, shouldn't have done it, shouldn't, should have learnt my lesson from when I first started in the tropical fish game. And what I'd done, and it's happened once before, like I just said, um, i got some neon, uh, no, just neon tetras from Pets at Home. And the first time I'd done that, I brought them home and I had uh, tetra disease. And as months and months and months have gone by, um, I just impulse bought. I've seen these neons, I wanted more. Instead of going to my normal aquatics, which I highly recommend is Maidenhead. And lucky enough for me, I've got one five minutes up the road. Um, but... I didn't go to them, I decided on this time, because I was there, I impulse bought, and I got myself five, yeah, five I think I got, so that overall gave me ten neon tetras. So when I come home, I had put them, um, well, acclimated them straight into the 64 litre, and then introduced them to it, and they were fine, and then one day I just decided, like three days later, oh, do you know what, I'm going to put five of them or yeah, five of them in the 40 litre. So I did. Alice didn't quite like it. She said that it was missing the neon. So I decided to move them back. So as I've done that, a couple of days or weeks, uh, I'd say about a week later, this has happened. So this is the second time now I've not bought from my normal aquatics maidenhead. And... Both times, this has happened. So today, I've had to act on it and had to treat the 40 litre. And then, this is where it just gets worse. Prior all that, I decided to take a plant out, which was in the 40 litre, to because I've taken the old filter out, I put another plant in there to make it a little bit higher so it covered where it was, it looked to me, something was missing. So, I did. And that's after when I was cleaning that, I realised in the 40 litre, they've got that disease. So now, I've just had a check in the 64 litre, and my neons, the ones I've purchased from there, they've got it. So not only one tank, there's two tanks now, which have got it. And I call it the guppy tank, the 40 litre, because I've got more guppies than anything else in there. So, it's just devastating when this happens to you, you know, you work so hard on it, and like, the hobby, the game, it, it, this is where people sometimes get too confident and say, oh, it's easy keeping them, but it isn't, it really isn't, so now I've got to do some medicine work to them, really, and see how they get on, so I'm just going to let you have a look at them. So as you can see, we all look happy. But if I can actually get any of the neons, you'll see them. They're just hiding behind the mothball. 
There's two coming into focus now, hopefully. They're really quick, though. But they are infected. Every single one of them. Camera angle and glare is absolutely horrible. And this female, she's pregnant. So I hope she don't get it, because I'm hoping to do a video on the live birth of all that. But this one's absolutely fine. Liking the bamboo at the back. Now the water's all clear. He's absolutely fine. In here, the neons I've got them. It's not going to show them, I don't think, but one maker, there's one just up on the top left there with cotton mouth. Hopefully you'll see it, but they've definitely got them, I've had a good look at them, and I'm just hoping it doesn't affect any of the other fish. See it? On his mouth there. Absolutely devastated. So there's all three tanks, only one's uninfected at the minute. So that's my green neon tetras, my neon tetras and my rummy nose tetras which are all infected. Um, not every single one of them has it yet apart from the neon greens which every single one of them has it. So it's, it's just a case of wait now and I've got to treat them and do it the way I've been told from Maiden Ed Aquatic. So once I've learned how to do all that, I will do a video on what I've done and how I've done it. And hopefully it will be all good. Um, only time will tell now, so we'll just wait and see and ride it out I suppose but anyway thanks for watching the video